What's up guys, it's Erin Riley. If you're new to this channel, please make sure that you are subscribed. But for today's video, I'm going to be doing, um, just basically blow drying my hair. I'm going to be using the Garnier Hoblins Smoothing Leave-In Conditioner, their coconut oil and cocoa butter one. And basically, I just start off by parting my hair down the center. And then I'm just going to show you the blow dry side that I already did. And yeah, just keep watching. So now I'm just going to show you my um, curly side compared to the blow dried side. And obviously I have a whole bunch of shrinkage that I'm mad about. But my curls be popping though so I don't know I'm kind of like in the middle. But here goes like a picture or a, a shot of both of them at the same time I guess. I don't know how to explain it. And I do want to mention that I use the um, Garnier brand because I know that their um, products have silicones in them. And instead of like using a heat protectant to blow dry my hair, I use the silicones because it's like plastic around your hair basically. So basically that's like a, a guard or something against the heat from the blow dry if you get what I'm saying. Yeah. And just like when you're combing your curly hair, when you blow dry, you want to start at the ends so that it's not like dry at the top and then you're struggling to comb through with the um, brush from the, blow dry, from the blow dryer and try to get it through your hair. Just start at the ends and it'll make your life a lot easier. And I do want to mention, like it's not already obvious, but I want to mention that I do blow dry my hair like in halves of the half, so I guess like fourths, because my hair is too thick to be doing it all in one setting. Otherwise, I'll get frustrated and like spaz out or something. I don't know.
So now I'm just going in with my comb just to make sure that I have all the knots out that may have existed before. And I'm just going to comb through and then I'm just going to go back through with the blow dryer just to make sure that I have my um, scalp dry because I don't want to go out with a wet scalp after blow drying my hair. So that's pretty much the end of this video. If you are new to this channel, please make sure that you do subscribe and like this video. And leave any comments in the comment section, please, because I want to do a Q&A. And this is it for this upload. Bye.